Alright guys, in this video I want to go over the Displace modifier inside of Blender. So to get started I'm going to actually create a plane. So I'm going to go up to Add Mesh Plane. I'm going to scale this up a little bit. And I want to add some subdivisions to it. And the reason why I want to add subdivisions is the more subdivisions you have, the better the results of the Displace modifier are going to be. So let's go into Edit Mode. Let's go over to the left side of our screen in the toolbox over here and hit subdivide a few times. Now it's going to take quite a few subdivisions to make it look good, but also keep in mind that the more subdivisions you have, the greater the strain is going to be on your computer to handle it, but the better the results are going to be from the displace modifier. So now I need to have a texture that I can plug into the displace modifier to control the displacement. So I'm going to go into the textures tab over here on the right side and I'm going to click on new. Our default is set to clouds and that's going to be good. I'm going to change the name to displace texture. Alright, so now I'm going to go over into the object modifiers tab and click on that. I'm going to go Add Modifier. I'm going to go Displace. Alright, so no changes so far here. And that's because we got to plug in the texture into the Displace modifier. So I'm going to click on these little checkers here. And I'm going to go choose our texture from the list, Displace Texture. Okay, so now we see some displacement going on. Alright. But the effect is way too strong, so I need to tune that tone that down a little bit. The strength is set to 1 so we can actually control the amount of displacement with this strength slider here or change the value. I'm going to change it to 0.1 and that looks pretty good and you can actually just slide this strength slider here and that will change the displacement in real time. So that's a quick look at the Displace modifier inside of Blender. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment, and thumbs up this video. Thanks.